I remain very puzzled by Canada's systematic lack of interest in Asia. That we have at the national level um, a government that is simply hasn't found Asia's really place on the map and really only is awakening now to its economic importance. We have in British Columbia government that's figured out Asia a long time ago, but hasn't really found any answers. They've, they've realized what the problem is. The rest of the country, not really interested. Maybe on the trade side a little bit from, from time to time. But I'm very perplexed by the general Canadian lack of interest. We have you know, several million uh, Asian Canadian people living in our country. You would think that we have a great foundation for leaning toward Asia, East Asia, South Asia, Southeast Asia. It isn't really happening in any systematic way. And for a long time, we sort of convinced ourselves we didn't need it, that we were better than them, more innovative, more creative, wealthier, and what have you. The scale of what is happening in East Asia, in digital media, digital content, and almost every other industrial sector, simply blows the top off of what North Americans are thinking. The research parks are massively larger than ours. The factories are massively larger than ours. The investments in nanotechnology, and biotechnology, environmental technologies, miles ahead of ours. And I think that Canadians simply have to wake up not to a, a, a yellow menace, and not, not for that in a second. There are interesting, dynamic things going on in Asia. They want to be partners with North America. There are opportunities for Canadian companies, for Canadian entrepreneurs, and we're simply missing the boat time and time again. We need Canadians to pay attention to Asia. Our future lies on that part of the world.